Hey all, so this is day six of learning ROM render. And before we dive into a summary of what I've learned today, I wanna just bring your attention to the shortcuts. I have a shortcut here for treasures from ROM help, and you get the links to the various code examples that uh, I've located or I've been uh, pointed to by others uh, on, in the ROM database. Those are super useful. So what I wanted to do today is create ROM-like links. I didn't succeed and I didn't get to developing the table of contents, but I did achieve a couple of things. So first of all, just trying to get to ROM-like links, I played a bit with just HTML and what I did is I went ahead and copied the full uh, HTML of a block and then I used a, an HTML to hiccup converter. You Google this, you'll find uh, many of these uh, on the internet, which cre converted that previous HTML into a hiccup. And so then executing this hiccup, I do get something that looks like a link, but of course it doesn't have the React components or, uh, or, or events attached to it, so it, it just doesn't work, unfortunately. So this was a dead end. And then uh, I went on to um, start to explore the ROM page and ROM uh, block namespaces. And what uh, I found or what I created was this script. Let me show you the script. It's a very simple script. Uh, what it does is it takes all the namespaces and then for each of the namespaces it lists all the functions that are published under those namespaces. So the beginning of this list is not uh, extremely uh, interesting. So you see some of the standard closure uh, libraries here. So I'll scroll through those. But then here at the bottom I spotted uh, some interesting stuff. So for example, uh, I spotted data script core, uh, which uh, actually contains a bunch of very interesting uh, functions like transact. So I thought I would try to transact in the database without the ROM um, functions or the ROM published functions. Uh, it did work, but it didn't persist. So in the end, it didn't work. I'll show you what I did. Uh, but also you can see here some of the other uh, functions like uh, here are the, the standard Rome uh, uh, published uh, namespaces like Rome block, Rome data script, Rome data script reactive and Rome page. So those are the ones that you can also find in the help database and these work pretty nice. So after having done this, uh, having looked at this, I uh, went ahead and so let me just close this and just recreated the uh, example from uh, Rome help. So this is uh, exactly the same code as you find in ROM help. Uh, what this does is it creates a new child uh, block um, under the button. So if I press this button, uh, then uh, I get a new block created. So that's great. My thinking is uh, I, and this was in um, thinking about the table of contents that I can create a block under my uh, component and within that block I can paste, uh, place uh, links and uh, block uh, references to blocks uh, and, and entities on the page that I want to uh, include in my table of contents. So in a way I can build a table of contents like this that I would say this is uh, day one and then uh, I'll, under it I'll write uh, that this is day two etc so you can you can imagine I can create this from script 
and then I can create uh, Roam links. These would work like links, so you can see this does actually work as a link. Um, and it would then be uh, in a block. I wouldn't have, to, maybe I would have table of contents at the top just so it uh, looks nice and then this is how my table of contents will look like. That's my current thinking that this one I can do and with this uh, links are going to work but that is uh, something to do tomorrow. And then I went into uh, playing with creating a custom entity and what I did I uh, opened up uh, this uh, data script uh, help and just read up a bit about uh, the different topics here so let me just put this in here that this is going to be a helpful resource and this is my data script uh, data script uh, resource uh, that uh, is now added i'm actually going to add this to the shortcuts as well just so that I have that helpful shortcut. So what I do here is pretty simple. I use the Roam data script uh, function. I found the entity function. Uh, so here when I was listing uh, my functions uh, I found that I have under Roam data script I have an entity uh, function I looked up the entity function here in the data script uh, description and I can see that it requires an entity ID and I was hoping that the Roam version will not request the database because what I need for the data script functions to work is I need a database and or a connection and I was looking for the way to get the Roam database uh, connection. So I was lucky because indeed this works. So I use Roam data script to get uh, uh, using entity uh, number one. So that's always created when uh, the database is created. And uh, with that, I get a database and that database uh, I can send to the data script core entity uh, database function. The entity database function simply uh, cr uh, creates an empty uh, database with an option. No, this, this is the one. Uh, if I give it, uh, where is it? Uh, the entity database, uh, where is it? It should give me, oh, I was uh, looking at the empty database. Returns a database uh, that entity was created from. So then here I get a database and then I get the connection from database. So I get the connection and then I reused uh, this button solution. And what I do is I, I tried to transact various transactions. So here I'm trying to transact. Temp is going to be replaced automatically by the database as a uh, entity ID so I read about it uh, right here uh, in this uh, note it, it explains uh, that like here it explains that I can give it a temporary ID and this temporary uh, ID is going to be uh, converted into the into an entity ID but this signal signals that this should be exactly the same uh, entity ID so I use this pattern. I'm actually going to uh, include uh, this link as well as a resource so that you have it available. Um, so what, let me just put this here. And so I use this uh, function and with that uh, I created a my string uh, attribute. Uh, and uh, I was trying that maybe I need to add a create user that didn't help. But what uh, I what this did achieve is so when I do the transaction, I print the transaction result. And so let me show you what is printed. 
I get uh, this in console log. Uh, this is a long, long text. So if I copy this text and open it up in my uh, text editor, uh, then you can see that uh, this is the text that's created and here I do have the new uh, entity created but unfortunately when I come here and just run my uh, query to look for entity uh, 965 I get nothing back so apparently this is not persisted in the database so so far hacking the database under Rome through the back door uh, didn't work out. But it was an interesting uh, investigation working from the list of namespaces and functions uh, to get to this point. So that's all I achieved today. Hope you found it interesting and uh, we'll continue tomorrow. Thank you.